Hi, it's Mark from Training Spark. And in this video, we're going to show you how you can add some design or styling to the emails that get sent out from your LearnDash platform. So by default, LearnDash uses WordPress's own method of sending emails, and that is to send them as these very unbranded plain text emails. And if you're unsure what your emails look like, one way to check them is to just reset your password for an account that you would be able to pick up the email for. So I've got a test account here. I'm just going to do the get new password option here and it says check your email. We can look at it and it's just a very plain, boring email with no sense of design. So you might want to bring this a bit more in line with your company brand or something like that. And we're going to show you a way you can make these look a bit more uh, visually appealing. So if I switch to an admin account here on my LearnDash platform and head to Dashboard, what I'm going to do is install a new plugin by going to Plugins and then Add New. And I'm going to simply search for Email Templates. This will bring up a few options, but the one we're looking at here is this Email Templates by WP Expertio here. And it's got 30,000 active installations, five star reviews, and it's at the time we created this video, up to date and maintained. So I'm going to install that now. And activate it. And once it's activated, what we will do is head to appearance here in the menu. And we now have this new option called email templates. So this opens in the standard WordPress customizer. What we can do is go through some of the settings within this email templates option here. So we've got some generic settings such as the from name and the from email address. So if you wanted to change this to something else and say, um, my learn dash site for the from and put a general um, email just in there that um, you want to, to send that from. So this is when someone receives an email in their inbox, it would say that the from name is my learn dash site and the from email address is support at training .com. So that's the, the email sender settings. But what we want to do is tweak some of the settings we've got here. So we've got options for boxed or full width emails. Let's go with boxed. And we can do things like change the overall background color that appears around the outside if we wanted to. So we could make that a, you know, a maybe slightly less garish color like this one. Um, and we can change other aspects of it. So we'll set that. We can also add some, some custom CSS to this as well. If you wanted to do that, you know, for this email, it's worth bearing in mind that CSS within emails is sometimes a bit limited in certain email providers. So you need to be careful what you do there and keep it to very basic CSS. We can have the logo here so we can select an image from our computer, put it on there and choose it. And that would appear there within the top, choose the alignment of that if we wanted to. And we can change things like the, the text size uh, of anything that appears in there. Also the background color that appears behind the logo. Let's make that a bit lighter. And that's everything we've got there. I think if you did have a smaller image here, I think I've uploaded quite a big one there that would um, be a bit smaller in that, in that header. Likewise, we can change things like the body the you know, um, background color and things like the text size that appears in here, as well as what the text color. So if we darken that a bit and change the link colors. So if I made that red, we've now made it a bit more on brand. Finally, we can change things like the footer of the email here, which is the bottom gray bit and change what the text appears in here is. Um, so um, I'll add something like you can unsubscribe 
by uh, your profile or something like that. And um, we've got a nice bit of text here that we can add. And likewise, we can change the background color of that if you want to, and the text color that appears in it. And we can also change whether there's this powered by option, which I think is just the plugins own information, but we'll leave that off. Um, it's no real reason to add that unless you specifically wanted it to. So very quickly there, we've just created a nice quick email template. And if we click publish, any emails that get sent out from your system, be they learn dash emails or password resets or anything like that would now be in this template. And just to check that again, what I will do is go back to the password reset page for this user, generate a new password here, and we should get a new email coming in at some point. Hopefully soon. Let's just try that again, make sure it um, is working. So lost password, put in again, and oh, we've got a few in now. And um, so the one that just came in now has this branding. So it's all looks a lot better than it did before. So it's got um, all the same information, but just looks a lot nicer if you compare it to the original email, which is here, uh, which was all just very plain. So here you find this useful, and if you got something out of this video please give it a like and if you'd like to see more like this please subscribe to the training spark youtube channel